So we are actually here in, uh, in the bus stop or bus station. We actually arrived from Cruzeiro. Uh, we are here in the city of Sao Paulo. We are now going to the state of Minas Gerais to a city called Uberlandia. It should take about a nine, 10 hour bus ride from here. Uh, let's see how uh, I could survive this bus ride because I just coming from Cruzeiro took me about a good five hours to reach here and now uh, taking another bus for another nine, 10 hours heading north. Uh, it should be a fun, tiring ride. On our way, we took the bus to our next destination from Sao Paulo on an overnight road trip to Uberlandia. As it was an overnight ride, we took the advantage to sleep during the ride. As daylight arrived, we stopped at a rest stop for anyone to do any errands, from buying breakfast, snacks, or taking showers. Brazilian rest stops are very nice with modern facilities. While hitting the road, I was able to take advantage of seeing the western Minas Gerais landscape, as this was my very first time visiting this part of Minas Gerais. We arrived, and a good friend picked us up at the bus terminal. Observing the city, I was surprised how clean and well-maintained Uberlandia is. <laughs> so we're actually here in Uberlandia walking around. Uh, we got Pastor Reones, he picked me up at the bus terminal. Uh, it's pretty hot here and I cannot believe I'm still wearing my sweater, but you know what, let's visit this place right here. We arrived at our friend's home to treat us with an amazing typical Brazilian breakfast with fruits, granola, bread, and fresh fruit juice. So we are here in a park. Uh, it's it's a, actually a big park here in the city of Uberlandia. It's very nice. Uh, people jog, run. Uh, it's pretty, pretty well maintained. Uh, I'm pretty much going to walk around, see. I hope I don't get a sunburn, but the chances are I am. Uh, you know what? Let's explore this area. Parque do Sabia or in English known as Thrush Park. It's the central park of Uberlandia. It is a gated park and well maintained. And it is a sunny and hot day. I try to take advantage to enjoy the heat and sun. As the time of this recording in late October, the weather back in the United States was getting cold. So we are continuing here walking in this park. Uh, it's actually very hot. We're actually resting right here underneath the shade. It's actually a beautiful park. Uh, very well maintained, uh, very clean as well, and seems like it's very safe. Uh, you could actually bring your family here and do some picnic. Uh, you could walk around the lake, run around, or even probably eat some some lunch here. Um, is it worth it to come here? If you're from a small town, you probably like this. It's actually very well, very well, very peaceful as well. After exploring the park, we decided to eat lunch at a buffet. Unfortunately, I did not record much. Later, we left and decided to eat popsicle and go out to a cascade, or as a Brazilian calls it, a cochuera. Strolling on the highway onto our next activity, I was amazed how much farming is big in this part of the state. I can tell these were not your typical mom and pop farming, but big agro-industrial farmlands that I can tell is one of the major industry in the area, but I can say that the landscape were beautiful. To reach the cascade, we had to go off road, passing cows and enjoying the plantations in the area. So we actually here, uh, we call it Escada in English or? Cochuera here in Portuguese. Uh, we're gonna go down, uh, take a look, maybe take a little dip down there. I kind of saw there is a big waterfall over there somewhere. Maybe you could hear it from here. And let's see if we could take a little dip and refresh ourselves. As we hiked down some steep trail, I got to see some wildlife. But once we made it, it was a spectacular view. A perfect way to cool down from the heat as the water was quite cold. I had to be careful swimming as some parts were deep and some parts had shadow with rocks. Well, it was time to spend just enjoying nature's best. 
As we were back, the sun was setting, and it was time for dinner. Dinner was pamonia and toast bread. I'm going to say this was one of the best pamonia I ever ate here in Brazil. As it was time to go to our next destination, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss none of the other adventures I did here in Brazil, as our next destination will be Montes Claros in Minas Gerais. Until next time, safe travels.